Court side, and uh, Coach, I'll, I'll just ask you, to, what did you see from game one to game two in this exhibition season that pleased you most in terms of the improvement of, uh, from your team? Well, well, really across the board, um, you know, Brian, we, we, we were a better overall team today. Um, I think getting Parker back was a, was a big lift for us. Obviously, he has great meaning to our team, um, and he gives us, you know, an element that every team would love to have, and that is great experience and yet uh, a lot of ability at the point guard position. And in some ways, you know, the way Parker plays, he's perfectly suited for the rest of the team, you know, because he's just so unselfish and such a great passer that he uh, can get other people's shots and I think push it in transition and get us some easy ones. But Parker, I thought, did a great job on offense and defense, as did a lot of different players in the game. You know, obviously Alonzo and DeAndre both had very good games. But the, the efficiency of tonight's game really stood out for this being such an early game. November, a lot of new faces and young players. Uh, for us to play with 10 turnovers, 21 assists, you know, get to the foul line 27 times. You know, you look at that shooting percentage, 65%. There aren't many games you're going to shoot 65%. So from an offensive perspective, you know, I thought we were really efficient and did a great job. Parker had 14 points tonight, and I remember last season how you don't want him to be shy about taking good shots if he is open. But then you mentioned how unselfish it is. It is. Do you almost have to prompt him to, to look to score? Well, that's the one thing that, that we talked a lot about, you know, because Parker, Brian, and you know this better than anybody, he's been one of the best three-point shooters in the Pac-12 for the last two seasons. And uh, it, it would be great to see him really start off and be that from day one because uh, he's put in a lot of time. And again, when you're a senior, a lot of things click. And uh, assuming Parker's healthy, and that's a big, big deal for him to stay healthy, is uh, he's a big, big, big important cog in our wheel. We were talking just before you got here about Alonzo Trier's game tonight and his 22 points, uh, his four assists tonight, uh, three rebounds. Uh, his shooting over the first two games has been really solid in terms of his efficiency. And it, it almost seems that he's, if I'm trying to defend Alonzo, I'm in for a, a tough night uh, because he's such a, a tough guy. Where has he improved in terms of where he can get his points? You know, he's a lot better shooter uh, from the three-point line. You know, he's obviously a, a great free-throw shooter, but he also has the ability to get to the foul line easily. That's been a strength from day one. Again, sometimes it, what's, what's lost in all of this is it's not just one thing that somebody gets better at, but it's just overall you're a year older. You, you know how to do things uh, better. Statistically, you know, you're, you're able to uh, do things both on offense and defense easier because – You've practiced more, uh, you're older, and again, you're, you're wiser to the game of, of college basketball. But no question, Alonzo had a good night. And, you know, and I can't say enough about DeAndre because, you know, 21 and 11 is part of it, but he made some great passes tonight, Brian. I mean, when they chose to trap him in the post, I mean, some of the best plays we had offensively really started because, number one, he's incredibly unselfish, but he's an excellent passer. I mean, he played uh, 26 minutes and had one turnover, and they trapped him really on every post catch. Yeah. All right, you've got essentially four days to get ready for the regular season opener. Anything in particular you'll be stressing over the next few days with the guys, or is it just practice as usual? You know, it's, it's very, very early. Uh, we practice 25 times. You know, you can get better by leaps and bounds. We have an entire week to get ready, not for, for just one game, but you know, once you start the regular season, they come quickly. And we play on Friday, we play on Monday. That'll be two games in three days. So uh, we have a lot to work on. I think our team can continue to grow and get better because we're really depending on a lot of inexperienced newcomers. And, you know, Brandon Randolph didn't play tonight. Hopefully he'll, he'll be available for us on Friday and uh, we can stay healthy across the board. All right. Thanks, Coach. We'll see you then. Thank you. Head Coach Sean Miller here courtside as the Wildcats uh, beat Chico State in their second exhibition game, 91-53. Again, the final score. And we'll have more about